I'm Heather O, and if it is the last Sunday in September, then it's got to be the Bigelow Tea Community Challenge. And today, we're celebrating its 25th anniversary. Since 1987, the Bigelow Tea Community Challenge has been all about bringing runners, walkers, and their families together for a morning of fun, smiles, and tons of miles. That certainly was the case for this year's event. And who can better tell the story of the race than the Bigelows themselves? I have to tell you, the reason this race started was on Cindy's wedding day. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's out here having the race, and we're home getting ready for her wedding. It was a little stressful, a little stressful, stressful. but it, it, it worked out, and it's been going on ever since. Absolutely. And we're very we're happy. We're very proud of Cindy, yeah, I want yeah. to tell you. We're very proud of her. She did a phenomenal thing here when she did this, and she sustained it all these years, too. Anyone can look forward to the challenge because it has something for everyone, at any age, to join in on. Like the annual Kids Fun Run. Go! Some of the participants had the look of future Olympians for sure. What were you guys warming up for? The 5K. Is Dad gonna run with you? Yeah, Dad's gonna run with me. One of my you know, most endearing moments is when I watch the little guys run across the field. They just ran with these huge smiles. A lot of young people, that was great. The challenge also includes a two mile fitness walk and the main event, the 5K road race. On your mark, set, go! A race like this couldn't be possible if it wasn't for the dedicated efforts of the community volunteers and the Bigelow Tea Company family. So let's talk about the famous race shirt. From the race committee meetings throughout the year to the volunteers out on the field on race day. You must look forward to this every year. I do, it's a lot of fun. I haven't missed it since I've started about five years ago. It's a lot of work, but it's very rewarding. We do it for the charities, and the people that come out always have a great time, so we love coming. I've been here seven years. This is my seventh race, and uh, once you're on the committee, you're a lifer, so. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be actually here on race day? It's wonderful. If you forget every year when you're working and doing the meetings that mm -hmm. when you actually come, how much of the community is actually here. I've been doing the road race for about 20 years now. Wow. So it's it's gets more exciting every year. It's, it just gives you a great feeling to know that you're helping people that are not as fortunate as you are. And whether you're competing for a trophy or just want to lend a helping hand, there are so many ways to get involved, like Carly, Emma, and Paige, who are the official babysitters for the race. What would you tell other kids about um, getting involved and in volunteering at this event? They should do it, it's really fun. Yeah, there's something to do for everyone. Coach Morrison and the cross country team from Sacred Heart University lent their expertise. We're here with the team and you know, I'm gonna be moving barriers and distracting the runners and the walkers, so very exciting, we love to cheer and we're not running today, so. Well, thanks so much guys. I know it's such a great help to be out there and have direction. I'm gonna need it, so thanks so much. <laughs> give, me, give me an extra cheer when you see me, okay? This year, over a thousand people came together to support this very special road race. But it touches the lives of more than just the athletes. 100% of the proceeds go to help improve the lives of those in need. We really are very specific on who we try to give the money to. We try to stay local, so it's Fairfield and Bridgeport. We try to stay smaller, so their budgets, this number will make a difference for them. Um, and we try to really do basic needs. Such as creating a wonderful place for kids. The Sandcastle Playground. It's uh, definitely something that means a tremendous amount to me. With the help of three friends, Cindy built this wonderful gathering place for families. Funds from the challenge and generous volunteers from the Bigelow Tea Company maintain the playground to ensure it will be enjoyed for generations to come. The challenge also helps bring comfort and a sense of belonging to the generation that helped build our community. The support that you give and the, the fact that we're able to bring people by having our own transportation service That's great. is remarkable. And they get here because you pick them up, you bring them here, and you bring them home. It doesn't get any better than that. Debbie Greenwood, Executive Director of the Center for Women and Families, an organization that helps victims of abuse, is hoping that proceeds from the race will enable them to attain a somewhat unusual goal. Well, you're helping us, we hope, be put out of business. That's our goal. <laughs> we want to be out of business. Oh, that would be very nice, Debbie. <laughs> I really have to compliment you and your staff on what you see and what you do every day. It takes a very special person, so thanks for uh, letting us be part of it. Well, thank you. And these are only a few examples of how the challenge has benefited the community over the past 25 years. 
The true signs of a successful race can be seen on the faces of everyone around. The great meaning of community challengers, you guys just met, right? Absolutely. So fabulous. Everybody always loves getting together and you talk to people you've never met, they're instant friends and that's the great that's a great thing about running. And what would you tell other people who'd never run a race before to come out to the Bigelow race? Oh, definitely come. I mean, it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you are, everybody's a runner when you get on course and everybody supports everybody, so. Exactly, exactly. Just try it, yeah. Well, I am here with a father and son team and how was the race today for you? It was good. Big Low T always gives back, so what more could you ask for? And it's clear to see why both casual and competitive runners always mark this race on their calendars. Congratulations to the 25th anniversary winner, Brendan Rickard, and Mary Palmer. And is this your first time running the Big Low T Community Challenge? Uh, yeah, it's my first year running, but I've volunteered the past five years with Sacred Heart. You know, I love coming here. The course is great. It's just a lot of fun. I think if you're not necessarily the runner yourself, definitely volunteer at community-wide events. It's just a wonderful atmosphere to be involved in. It's a great race. Yeah. Very well organized. And what would you tell other people to get involved with this race for next year? Anything Cindy's involved in, it's a good deal. <laughs> now, therefore, I proudly proclaim Sunday, September 30th, 2012, as Bigelow Team Community Challenge Day in the great town of Fairfield and city of Bridgeport. We want to make this a great day for you. We want to give you great things. We want to honor you for coming. We want to let you know where all your good money is going. We want you to leave here with a huge smile, closer to your family and closer to the community. And just, it's all for you. That's why we do it. Well, we will see you here next year, and when you're here, make sure to say hi to Mr. and Mrs. Bigelow and Cindy and the rest of the crew that is yeah. so hardworking. Yeah, all year. Thank you, guys.